baptized. 16 folks getting baptized this morning. Come on. Man, it is a party at Bridge Church this morning. Our favorite Sunday of the year is baptism celebration. And Pastor Josh, I'm so glad that we inside this morning. Some of y'all came in just sweating. That was me, that was me, that was me. <laughs> y'all already know I'll always be sweating, I'll be sweating. But hey, before we, before we get on with the party, I'm telling you what, I just wanted to share just briefly and hopefully communicate the importance of today. The decision that you guys are making, this is a game-changing decision. This is a game-changing decision. And whether you're new to church, just want to say welcome. We say you can belong here before you believe. We're just grateful that you're here. And we just pray, man, that, that, that this God, this Jesus that we're talking about, that you would encounter him in a powerful way as well. But we know that you're going to leave here inspired. It's going to be great. All right? But we say this all the time, that baptism is an outward expression of an inward decision. Somebody say, it's an outward expression of an inward decision. Okay, that sounds good, but what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? Do you need to get baptized? No, you don't. You don't need to be baptized to be saved, right? You don't have to. Is it something that, is it something that we think is really, really important that we encourage everybody to do? Absolutely. Absolutely. So why be baptized? Why? Why? Because this decision that you're making is so powerful. And we want to let everybody know. Say, everybody. Everybody know this decision that you're making. And, and, and one of the ways that I feel like I was praying about how to communicate this, we talk about different relationships. Anybody been in a relationship before? Uh-huh. I already know. I already know. There's all types of different relationships. All, all type, All types. And we say this, 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 this Christianity thing is, is relationship over religion. Right, God desires to be in relationship with us. Do you believe that? Okay, so there's different types of relationships, and I just want to just share this briefly so that we can all be on the same page so we can understand the significance of the decision that you guys have made today, okay? Can we do that real quick? Okay, I got three C's for you. Somebody say casual. Come on. Anybody been in a casual relationship before? All right. Uh-huh. Like it's, 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 like it's whatever, right? Like, it's, it's whatever. Like, like, you can do you, I can do me. It's cool. We in relationship. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody know about the friends with y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Somebody got real excited. But it's casual. There's really not much of a commitment. Like, you do you, I do me, and we'll see where this thing leads. But real casual, right? We understand that. All right? The next one is conditional. Somebody say conditional. Man, like, 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 like we together until you like mess up. Right, 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 right. Like there's, there's strings attached to this particular relationship. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anybody been in a conditional relationship? Like we together until you cross this line, then deuces, we gone. I'm out. Like I cannot do anything, but once you cross this line, I'm gone. Conditional relationship. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, all right, so we got casual, it's whatever. We got conditional, maybe it's 50-50, maybe. And then we got committed. Somebody say committed. Come on, anybody, anybody in a committed relationship? Okay, anybody, any married people in the house excited? Come on, whoop, 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 whoop. A committed relationship is beautiful. It's powerful. There, there, there's sacrifice involved, right? It's sacrificial. This goes beyond like 50-50. It's like you mess up, man. I need some power to forgive you because I know I messed up too and we're going to try to work this thing out together. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's a, there's a casual relationship, there's conditional relationship, and there's committed relationships. It's powerful. But what I love about baptism is something that they're doing. They said, you know, we're going public with this thing. I don't want to be silent about my faith. I don't want to be silent about this particular relationship. So I'm actually going to do something about it. This extends beyond the committed. And somebody say, we putting a ring on it. Hey, 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 I know you love me. I know I love you. But guess what? I'm putting a ring on it to show. Man, I'm for real. 
That's what baptism is like. The reality is many of us approach our relationship with God in one of these three different areas. We're we casual, right? we just kind of whatever. I go to church, it's cool, that's what's up, man. I might have my own time with God, but the reality is, like, I ain't really trying to live for him. I'm not trying to get in a committed relationship with him. Conditional, right? Maybe when we need something, we cry out to God. Man, if he do me wrong, if something happened, like, forget you, God. But what I love about these sweet 16, they said, I'm going all in. I'm committed. I'm ready to do this thing. I may not have all the words figured out. I, not, I might not have everything figured out, but I'm going all in. I know what God is kind of doing in my heart and in my soul. I can't help but express it. I can't help but testify. I cannot help but publicly display this is decision that I am making today. Come on. But what I love about this, there's actually another C. I ain't going to unpack it, but it's like a covenant relationship. That's what it is. You're inviting God into this thing. And we are so proud of you. And we are excited to celebrate this day with you. I love what was shared that all of heaven rejoices when one person, one person chooses to repent, to turn from what they were doing and turn toward what God has for them. Man, we just bless you all. We bless you. We bless you. I want to go ahead. I want to pray for them specifically. Can we just pray for them? And then we're going to go ahead and transition and hear some incredible stories. Can we do that? Can you guys just stand? Just, just can y'all just stand? And just a sign of just like, I'm with you. Can you just like maybe stretch your hands? There's nothing powerful, but it's just like, man, we're just saying, you know what? We are with you. We are with you. Come on. We love you. Well, God, we thank you so much. We thank you for these 16 folks that says, I'm going all in. I'm ready to go from casual to conditional to committed. I'm ready to put a ring on it. I'm ready to let people know I am yours and yours alone. So, God, we just bless them. God, we thank you so much for what you have in store for them. God, I pray that they would dream the impossible dream. God, we know that you have incredible plans for them, plans not to harm them, but plans to prosper them, give them a hope and a future. And, God, we just bless them as a church family this morning. So, God, we love you. God, we praise you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody say amen? Make sure y'all high five at least 15 people. Hug another 30. Hey, don't let the celebration stop here. Take it home with you. Take it home with you. Love y'all. Have a great day.